My name is Nathaniel Wagner and I teach Graphic Design 1 and Graphic Design 2 at ACAD. And currently I'm an intern architect at the Mark Bhutan Architectural Collaborative in Calgary. My design journey uh, I think started when I was a young kid and I always quite enjoyed drawing. Uh, I got into figure drawing and all that and then I was actually more interested in uh, the design from when I was a young kid to kind of layout and composition. So when I went on to university I went to a Bachelor of Fine Arts focusing in new media at the University of Lethbridge. And I kind of focused on art, drawing, design, sculpture, and really got into doing 3D. And I think that uh, graphic design and design principles in general helped me with that in terms of rationalizing space and composition. Uh, so when I finished my undergrad degree and during my undergrad degree, I worked at a couple of video game companies. I was lucky enough to work on an Xbox 360 launch title uh, out in Vancouver. And after that, I kind of went on to work at the Canadian Space Agency for about six months working on components for the ISS in terms of design and layout and training programs for astronauts. So that was super cool, kind of a fun and unexpected way that graphic design kind of got me out into the work field. Uh, after that, I started doing more 3D visualization and started working at an architectural firm. Uh, and then I eventually went on to take my master's degree at U of C and now I'm an intern architect. So design has been a big part of my life, kind of in everything I've done. Design in general, especially design thinking, opens up so many fields and avenues to pursue a career in. And that if you are a graphic designer or not, I think the foundation that you get with design and especially design thinking opens up an entire array of possibilities. So I think that's just an important thing to consider that no matter what you do, I think design will always augment your professional development. So for graphic design one, uh, it's a lot of times one of the first courses people will take at ACAD, which is great. Uh, and we focus actually for graphic design one on all analog methods. Uh, so we do only hand-drawn stuff. We actually don't touch the computer. We do some collage assignments. Uh, we do handwritten typography. And I think it's a really, really good way for students to get into design. The thing I like about the analog version is that you have to be more cognizant of what it is that you're doing rather than simply jumping into the computer. And it's nice because a lot of the students haven't taken any other formal art training. It's kind of this blank canvas to work with, which I personally enjoy as a teacher. We do a lot of assignments that are based on things that I think are applicable in the real world. So we will do a logo, we will do kind of hand-drawn typography, uh, we'll do a collage assignment, and then the final is a social or political cause that the students are interested in as a big final assignment to combine everything that we've talked about. And throughout the semester, we go over the principles of design, uh, compositional elements, layout, and I show a lot of examples that I like, ranging from, you know, kind of the 1890s up to today and touching on movement like Art Nouveau, Art Deco, Swiss minimalist style, typographic style. So really giving kind of a broad range and introduction to graphic design and how it relates to art and design in general. And then after that, uh, a lot of students will go on and they'll take another few courses such as typography or uh, introduction to digital lab. And then I get them again for graphic design too, which is the digital version. Uh, so at this point, it's great because the students have design background, they have software background, and the assignments and the lectures I focus on in graphic design too are kind of through the professional lens of graphic design. So what you'll do in terms of delivery as hopefully a, you know, professional. So when we do something like a logo in graphic design too, we focus on doing a design guideline with it. So students are kind of introduced to some of the professional methods of delivery. So I think that the, one of the advantages to taking the uh, continuing education programs at ACAD is they have a very broad spectrum. They have a multitude of different classes that you can take. And I think in any design education, just having access to that kind of broad number is only going to increase your skills. One of the things I think is really good is actually the certificate program because you get a nice introduction to design and then you kind of get an introduction to software and then you get to see it at a kind of professional level within graphic design too. So I think the, the multitude and the options that you have just give for a good broad range overview uh, that I think can really help people.